Good morning and welcome back. Welcome back to the Vision Alignment Show, where we talk about the importance of knowing how your vision is better off when it's aligned with your core beliefs, your core values, your your core strengths, your core goals, really. Um, So thank you so much for being here this morning. There's a lot to cover, but I want to make sure you know that today, Kelly Robinson is not going to be here. So my mistake, I scheduled it on my calendar, but I didn't schedule it on hers. So, you know, my bad um, for that. But anyway, just uh, th- want to make sure that you, uh, you know where we're going today. So where we're going today is we're going to talk more about how bad things can happen if your vision is not aligned. Talk to you soon. Stay right there. And we're back. Thank you so much for being on. Uh, if you would, do me a favor and in your timeline, post a picture of you winking. And when you wink, I want you to be thinking of what makes you unique. So what makes me unique and probably what makes me special <laughs> is the fact and my willingness to share my story with other people. So not many people with, with my condition would share their story with other people. So as you know, I have a shunt, I have a, um, a cavernous malformation in my brainstem, which is a malformed blood vessel, and it bleeds from time to time. And when it bleeds, it put, p- puts pressure on nerves that control my vision, as well as nerves that control my, my mouth, my tongue, my, my face, uh, all that. So, you know, I go through this every day, not knowing when, I'm, when my, um, my, my brain is going to bleed again. And when it does, I don't know what's going to happen kind of nerve wracking if you think about it too much, but we don't think about it too much, but I want to make sure that you understand who I am and uh, what I'm, what I'm doing here. So, you know, thank you so much for being on. I appreciate that. Um, But in that timeline, when you wink, be thinking of what makes you unique because I know what makes me unique and it's not my eye. What makes me unique is that willingness. So if you can understand that there'll be, there'll, there'll be, It'll be much more helpful to you in order for you to understand how to serve other people. And serving other people is where true happiness is found. You know, you're going to find in life, no matter how old you are, you're going to find that um, you think you know where happiness is found. And you may not always know. You may not always guess right. So I want to encourage you to understand that happiness is found by serving others. So. That's why we do these shows. That's why we serve others this way. So having said that, um, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the reasons why not having your vision aligned. Oh, and by the way, put in your timeline, hashtag live, if you're listening live, and tell me where you are. That would be great. And so I, I see there's some people online here. Just tell me who you are. Tell me where you are. And um, that would be great. And then uh, what else? Oh, uh, sign up for my uh, my newsletter. You know, it, it's called Vision Insights, and you can go to brianwagner.live and do that. I'll 
I'll put that up here in a second. So brianwagner.live is this URL. So if you would do that, if you go there, you can uh, definitely sign up for um, for Vision Insight. So that is um, important for us all to uh, to realize that there's more information out there. I, I, I try to send out a, uh, a blog post um, every other week, close to that. Um, but then there's also videos and, and other things that you can have from that as well. So um, thank you for being on. I appreciate you. So let's talk a little bit about those uh, reasons why you should have your vision aligned with your core beliefs. One of the, one of the main reasons why I think um, is because you're going to miss out. You, you're going to miss out on opportunities. You're you're not going to um, be you're not going to be taken up for some of the jobs you think you want. Uh, you're not going to be taken up for um, some of the promotions that you think you should get. You're going to miss out and not going on vacations where you think you should go on vacation. So that's going to happen because you don't have that vision aligned with your core strengths. Seems odd, but it's true. If you can understand those core strengths and make sure that your vision is in alignment with them, then you're going to be more successful. You're going to be more happy. You're just going to be doing what you should be doing. Um. Let's see what else I have here. So um, your, your, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I wrote something, something really good. Um, but anyways, um, you, you won't have the success that you think you should have. And that's a blind spot where you have this. So for me, I was in IT sales. And I went to work for a company where I thought I'd make a lot of money because, you know, there was lots of good margin. And I saw some other people that were making lots and lots of money. And that was what I wanted to be. That was who I wanted to be. I thought that was who I wanted to be. But come to find out, that wasn't who I was. I wasn't doing what I was meant to be doing. I wasn't in alignment with my core. So once I got in alignment with that, then things have started to happen. It's taken a while, but things have started to happen. So tell me a little bit about you. What have you struggled with? H have there been things where you know you just uh, haven't gotten as far as you thought you'd get? Are there are there uh, times in your life where you know, you thought that uh, you should have this? Um, maybe it's a date. You know, maybe it's a. Uh, a relationship. Maybe things are uh, things are not going the way you thought they would go. Well, maybe you have a blind spot, and maybe that blind spot is caused because of your vision is not aligned with your core strengths. So, think about that and reply to me if you would. Put it in the comment section. I see somebody has commented already this morning. Oh, my friend Linda. Good morning, Linda. It's good to see you this morning. Awesome from Morgantown, West. Virginia. Thank you very much. It's good to see you. And yes, also put in the uh, chat box. Well, you don't have to put it in the chat box, but put in an email, Linda, your address so I can send you out a copy of my book. So that would be great. Um, so that's something that happens. Um, this uh, vision alignment, not, not, not having your vision aligned with your core strengths, that causes you to not be successful, not be happy. And if you're not happy, how do you how do you go back? How do you how do you find what that way is in order to find what your core strength is? So I thought I knew my core strength, but that wasn't it. I end up having conversations with many, many people over over a number of years. And uh they boil it down to this. Finding your core strengths will come once you know what you believe. Once you've clearly identified what it is that you believe in, then you can get farther along the lines of understanding your core strengths. Now, you've got to be truthful with yourself. 
and you've got to invest some time in this. So here's what they did. They had me write out 30, I believe, statements. 30, I believe. I believe in God. I believe in... Uh, and so it got hard. As you can imagine, real quick, once you started to, to put down what you believe in. So for us on this call, let's understand what you believe in. And then you're going to uh, have a much better idea of what your core strengths are. Then after you have those 30 I believe statements, then write in 30 I will statements that are based on those I believe statements. So uh, let's say I believe in God. Well, then I will go to church. Um, I, I believe, um, gosh, I'm trying to think of my, my I believe statements. It's been so long since I wrote them out. But they should be, they should be very much um, in tune with me. So, you know, I, I believe my family loves me. I believe that, um, you know, there's a lot to be offered with, uh, with what I've gone through. Um, so, okay. So I believe there's a lot to be, to, uh, to be discussed with what I've gone through. So what will I do? Well, what I'll do is I'll go out and I'll speak to people and tell them my story of how, you know, I went through this process of having a brain bleed and having a, you know, a shunt in my head of all these things. And I have the, still the ability to, to know that I have something to offer for one. And what I have to offer is that overcoming this, that persistence, that attitude, all those things that most people with my condition wouldn't be able to have. So um, I get up every day and that's what I, what I believe in and how I believe I'm going to do it. How I believe I'm going to go about exercising that, that muscle really of belief. So another way that, that you can do this is to know your worldview. So and that all, that all, all this is incorporated from a, a guy named Chet Scott. And Chet Scott put together a, what he calls an opus. And the opus, I've told you about this, I think, before, where the O stands for an overarching vision. And the P is for purpose. The U is for unifying strategies. But the S is for a scorecard for success. So the opus is really one of those tools that I encourage everyone to look at at one point or another. And then realize that where your worldview has a big part in that opus. So what is your worldview? Secondly, um, I would encourage I would encourage people to to really get to know themselves and to get to know other people by spending seven good minutes with them. Seven good minutes means having a conversation where where one person for seven minutes asks the other person curious questions. And then you listen, you listen to the answers and then you're going to base those answers, or you're going to base your next question off of how they've answered. Not how you want to answer, not how you want to uh, ask, not, not a, a, a formal list where you've already piled, compiled it, but you're going to ask questions based on their answers. So I want to make sure that all of you understand the importance of doing that because there's so much value that, uh, that we all get from, from knowing people. You know, I love to ask questions. I love to know people. You know, Linda had a great time uh, the other night, you know, um, sitting next to you at uh, dinner with everybody else. But um, there's a lot that, that we all have to offer. And there's a lot that we all kn can know about each other as we uh, progress. So, you know, there's, uh, there's just a lot that we – imagine if you could take what you know today – and then compound it by all the other people and what they know. Wouldn't that be great? Because then your, your knowledge is compacted by all the other people in the world. Yes, there are other people that are going to have different ideas than you. They're going to have uh, people that are going to have uh, different concepts and different um, you know, emotions and uh, different motives. Um, so that's, 
that's important to know, but um, at the same time, you just need to let it go. If you can just let it go and then understand um, how to, uh, how to uh, take what they have and share with everybody else, it, it makes your world just seem so much larger because of all those other people in the world. And, you know, there are so many good people that, uh, that um, you know, are out there. Um, we have these, we have these calls, these, these live shows that we've been doing over the last year. And that's been helpful. But now as the world opens up, we're going to, we're going to get out and we're going to experience more people. We're going to, we're going to do things that we've never, well, we haven't done in at least 16 months. So I'm going to encourage you to, to go out and do that. I want to encourage you to, to have seven good minutes with people and seven good minutes of you just asking curious questions. I think that would, uh, that would be helpful. So, uh, that's what I have for you this morning. Sorry about Kelly Robinson not being on again, my fault, but, uh, hopefully we'll get to, get to have her on back in June. A lot going on today. We we have uh, I have speeches that I need to continue to write. I have uh, speeches that I need to to, to continue to practice. I'm going to be speaking to the Rotary Club here on Friday, so Friday morning. Looking forward to that. But then um, Friday afternoon, well Friday at 11:30, we have 10 people or nine people coming on from the National Center National Sports Center for the disabled. So um, look forward to seeing that. And uh, look forward to seeing you all there. But um, just remember that uh, if, ever, if, the, if there's ever anything that I can do for any of you, by all means, let me know. And as always, keep one eye.